millions of us now believe that this simple needle has extraordinary powers. Today, more and more of us are putting our faith into alternative medicine. Ginseng, which is the, the, the main herb. From ancient herbal remedies. It's all way beyond what we normally think of as medicine. To miracle faith healing. Said again, healed all! And acupuncture. Ow. Oh, moving hurts, doesn't it? But do these therapies really work? Do they offer something more than conventional medicine? And can science help us find out? In this series, I'll be putting all three to the test. I'll find out whether these needles really do have healing powers. And in a groundbreaking experiment, I'll discover something truly astonishing about acupuncture. the UK, acupuncture is booming. This ancient Chinese treatment is now one of the most popular of all alternative therapies. It's even taking hold within the NHS. Now, nearly a million of us use it every year, and it's growing fast. There are clinics all over the place. Now, here in Chinatown, that's not so surprising. But it's happening all over the country. Now, I'm a scientist, and with all that I understand about medicine, it just makes no sense that sticking a needle into a human body could cure illnesses. And yet, millions of people are convinced that acupuncture works where conventional medicines fail. 19-year-old Joanna Hughes believes acupuncture has transformed her life. For nearly a year, she suffered from ME, a condition that left her bedridden. We will do something to help you. A lot of people are very frightened of needles. Yeah, I'm not too bad. Yeah? Conventional medicine had done nothing, so finally she tried acupuncture. Yeah? It's nowhere near as painful as sort of an injection or anything. It's not like that. It's a lot less painful than that. <laughs> it's kind of like a little electric shock on points which are really strong, like my liver point on my feet is really strong, you kind of feel electric <laughs> shocks going like up your legs. It's reacting, yes, yeah. I can see. After just a few treatments, the effect was remarkable. I just felt like kind of me again, I felt like I had so much more energy, I could just start to do some things which was just like so amazing compared to what I had been like um, a few months ago. And it's not just Joanna. Now, more and more people are convinced that acupuncture has worked wonders. My life was changed. It felt like I had new knees again, because it was just, it was wonderful. I had to scream before if I moved my shoulder too much. As soon as I come out of a session, you can immediately feel that the pain has gone away. It did work for me, and it was kind of a miracle, if you like. But it's all based on a very different view of the body. Acupuncturists believe that illness is caused by an imbalance in a life energy, qi, which determines our health. The qi, the energy, flows through the whole body. So acupuncture really is manipulation or unblocking or relieving the energy. So what does Professor May make of my life energy? What can you tell me about what's going on in my body by looking at my tongue? From your tongue, the, the coating and the colour, mm -hmm. I know um, what's happening to different organs of your body. Maybe show me your tongue. Ah, yes. Well, your tongue is rather red, and the tip here. 
and I think you're suffering from circulation problems. And uh, <laughs> is that right? Um, no, uh, I don't think I do. No, but the tip of the tongue represents the heart. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I will look at the heart meridian, see if you you have any pain along your heart meridian or any dysfunction in your heart. As a scientist, I found Professor May's explanation of how the body works extraordinary. What I'm really struggling with is that it's just all so alien. It's not just the needles, the language, the ideas, even the diagnosis. And it just bears no relation to science. And yet, so many people are convinced that it's working for them. So I have to find out whether it really is. Shanghai, China's booming metropolis. Looking around, it's hard to believe that this is the home of one of the most ancient traditional medicines in the world. But it's here I hope to find out exactly what acupuncture is and why so many people in the West are convinced by it. I'm pretty skeptical about acupuncture. But we'd be crazy to write off ancient wisdoms. We ought to question them well, but we can't write them off. Especially when it appears to be able to do something astonishing. In the city's most advanced hospital, 21-year-old factory worker Chun Gunlian has a hole in the heart and her health is deteriorating. She's about to have open heart surgery. Even with the best medical equipment, it's a risky operation. Her chest will be cut open and her heart stopped. But Gunlian will go through all of this without a general anaesthetic. Instead, she's chosen acupuncture. Although sedated by drugs and her chest numbed, she'll be conscious throughout the whole procedure. The doctors stimulate the needles using an electrical current. As the surgeon begins, the success of the operation depends not just on his skill, but on the power of acupuncture. Acupuncture is an effective painkiller. It's also less damaging to the body than a general anaesthetic. It seems incredible, but Gullian's doctors have done more than 300 similar operations. What could possibly explain what's going on? In the old city of Shanghai, I'm hoping to find some answers. I've come to meet one of acupuncture's masters, Yo Yuren, an acupuncturist from one of China's great medical dynasties, and someone who can help me understand exactly how acupuncture works. I've been feeling a bit run down, so he begins by feeling my pulse and looking at my tongue. One of his patients, Fred Wei, translates for him. He says the top of your tongue's condition is very good, it's very red. Very red? Yes. Good, and that's, that's good. good. That's good, that's good. He's, uh, he says basically you, you, you think too much. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably right. And that's why he says uh, your inner heat is, is actually quite, quite, uh, quite a lot of inner heat. 
A lot of inner yeah. hate. Because you think you think of uh, too many problems and things like that. But the most importantly, he says, to basically uh, take control of your personal life and, and maintain the balance. <laughs> 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 so don't work so long. Yes. Sleep more. Yes. Relax more. Yes. And think less. <laughs> yes. I've known for a long time that's what I should do. But that's very good. That's that's me. Well, all of that is true about me. But you could say that about just about everyone I know. At Yoyuren's clinic, the patients are put through a series of bizarre procedures. And Fred was happy for me to watch his treatment. Can you ask Yoyuren why he's put these glass bowls on you? Uh, he says basically this kind of uh, glass balls can help the, you know, the blood circulate a little faster. Okay, so all of these down here, down your leg? Yes. Are going to help with the blood flow through your legs? Yes. And that's going to help your buttock? Exactly. Okay. Then, it was my turn. You should just relax okay. and, uh, and, and what's he going to do? Think of a happy place while he's uh... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and that's great, that didn't hurt. He slides the needles in. Each specific point is supposed to treat a different part of my body. How do you feel? Okay. It uh couple okay. of them have stung a little bit, but it's some easy. Uh that one really helps you to sleep. <gasps> Ow. Yeah. Fred, how far in is he putting them? I'm um, actually very light. Ooh. It's not, not too much. Ooh. That is the right. Yeah. Oh, moving ooh, hurts, ooh. doesn't it? Oh. Yeah. See, don't, don't move. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, it's quite nice to lie down, but I can't say I'm feeling anything special. Twenty minutes later. And how long does it take to work for it? A few times. <laughs> a few times. So I shouldn't expect any miracles. <laughs> you have to maintain self-balance. That's the most important part. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to sleep more and uh, work less. <laughs> so most of it is down to me. Yes. I'm feeling, everything's feeling really tingly, and I'm feeling slightly spaced. Um, and I guess that's probably from having needles stuck into me. And whether that's a good thing or not, I've no idea. Today, ancient China is rapidly disappearing. Yet remarkably, acupuncture has found a place in the modern world. I'd like to know just how it's adapted to the demands of modern medicine. Here, in this hospital, doctors are using conventional medicine and acupuncture side by side. So patients get to choose which kind of treatment they're going to have. Doctors here claim they use it for sound medical reasons, not just to keep a tradition alive. And what was wrong with him? Okay, so for pain, mm -hmm. acupuncture. Yeah. For a problem with an organ, mm -hmm. Western medicine. And if that doesn't work, uh -huh. then ac acupuncture. Yes. Okay. Yes. But sometimes, when you use Western medicine, they have a um, very big side effect. So they will say, um, yeah, you can accept some acupuncture treatment. Okay. Use a lip to those Western medicine and accept acupuncture. Oh, so use a small amount of Western medicine yes. and acupuncture treatment to help to increase yeah. the effect. Yes, yes. And that reduces the side effects of yes. the Western medicine. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Doctors here claim that acupuncture can treat just about every illness.